Let's make this beanie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the two textured slouchy beanie. This beanie is great, it's super easy, makes up really fast, made with two different types of yarns, a size five highly textured yarn combined with a size four non-textured yarn. So if you struggle to use textured yarns, this is gonna be a trick that you can use to really help you identify where your stitches are and where your crochet hook goes. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna wanna miss out. So let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're gonna need to make this beanie. The materials that you're gonna need to make the two textured slouchy beanie include two different types of yarn, a size five textured yarn, such as homespun, not the thick and quick homespun, just the normal original homespun, or, or any other type of size five textured yarn. If you really don't wanna use a textured yarn at all, you can absolutely substitute this with a size five bulky yarn. Uh, you'll also need a size four or a worsted weighted yarn, Aran yarn, uh, any of those types of sizes, but definitely make sure it's non-textured. It's really amazing how a solid color non-textured yarn paired with a highly textured yarn really brings out a lot of different aspects in this textured yarn. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this technique. Uh, you're going to need a crochet hook size P or 11.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a pom-pom maker is optional. You can make a pom-pom however you are comfortable making a pom-pom. This right here is three and a half inches in diameter. It's the biggest pom-pom maker, but again, you can make a pom-pom however you wanna make a pom-pom to attach to the top. That's all the materials that you're gonna need, so let's go ahead and dive right into making this beanie. To begin, we're gonna take the two different yarns and we're going to uh, combined them together. We're gonna to crochet them together as if they were one. I'm going to create my slip knot, attach my crochet hook. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is chain four. We're gonna make a giant ring, okay? So chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the very first chain so finding the very first chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way through. So there's only one loop on your crochet hook. And now we have just closed that ring. Okay, so now we have a full circle. Now we're ready for round one. So chain two, one, two. This chain two does not count as a double crochet. For round one, you're going to put 10 double crochets in that circle that we just made. One, two, three, nine, and 10. Great. Slip stitch into the very top of the first chain two. So not going all the way over to the double crochet, but the very top of that chain two. There we go. We have just closed round one. We're ready for round two. For round two, we're gonna chain two, one, two. Again, the chain two does not count as a double crochet. For round two, we will increase double crochet in each stitch all the way around. All that means is that you're gonna put two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. You should end round two with 20 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, 19 and 20, perfect. Okay, slip stitch into the top of that chain two. One, two. 
And we've just closed round two. For round three, we're gonna chain two, one, two. For round three, we're going to increase double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to put one double crochet. And then we're gonna repeat. Increase double crochet, one double crochet. And all that means, guys, is two double crochets in this stitch, then one double crochet, then two double crochets, then one double crochet. You're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around for round three. You should end round three with 30 double crochets. So here we go. One, two, and then one. One, two, and then one. One, two, and then one. 30, great, slip stitch into the second chain. And that will close off round three. Perfect. Okay, so we have finished expanding our circle or the crown of our beanie, and we are ready to just expand the side of our beanies. So for round four through round 10, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then double crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end each round, round four through round 10, each should have 30 double crochets. So keep that in mind if you're just gonna to wanna to stay on count. I will meet you at the end of round 10. Okay, slip stitching to close off round 10. Perfect, okay. For round 11 through round 15, what we're going to do is chain one and then single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then you will slip stitch to close that round, chain one and continue. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're basically making the brim, the brim of the beanie right now, okay? So we just chained one, single crochet in the exact same stitch that we just slip stitched into and continue putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You will finish round 11 through round 15 with 30 single crochets. Go ahead and continue on and I will meet you at the end of this round just so that way I can show you how I close off this round and begin the next round. Okay, last stitch for round 11. Okay, so I just finished round 11. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the very first stitch of that round just to close round 11, okay? I'm gonna chain one and then single crochet in that same stitch that I just slip stitched into and then continue round 12. Do the same thing for round 13, 14, and 15. I will meet you at the end of round 15. You're doing great. Keep up the great work. Okay, just finished round 15. Going to slip stitch into the top of that very first stitch. I'm gonna grab my scissors and just a small tail because we're gonna weave in our ends. Yarn over. Pull through that loop for that knot and pull tight. And there is our secure knot. Sometimes I like to go in a second time, same loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the loop and just pull for a second knot just for extra security. And that's it. So what you're gonna do is you'll just weave in that end and the beanie part will be done. The next thing we want to conquer is making the pom-pom. So when we make the pom-pom, we're only going to use the homespun or the highly textured yarn. You can use both yarns if you have enough, if you are wanting to do that, that's totally fine. Go ahead. 
If not, I'm just going to be using the homespun for the pom-pom. That's it. How I'm going to use my pom-pom maker is I take one side, put those two together, I'll wrap it around, and I'll start wrapping. You basically want to continue to wrap around until looking at it this way, you don't see the stopping points anymore. You want to keep wrapping until you can't see any of this plastic, okay? Okay, great. So this is where we're at right now. We cannot see the sides anymore. It's okay that we see the tip right here. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it forward, be snug, we want it to be snug, and then we just continue over to the other two and do the exact same thing. Great, and once you feel like you have met the requirements for this second side, I'm going to make my way over to this edge, close that side, take my scissors and cut along the side where the ball would be. Great. I put my scissors right here in this entryway and I just start cutting. Perfect. Okay, once you have cut all the way around, we're going to set that down. Grab your yarn, and I'm going to want enough to go around that ball two times and have slack to tie a knot into the beanie. Okay, so take that, looking about the halfway point, and I'm going to insert that into the side crack of that yarn pom-pom maker. Okay, pull tight so it's secure. Tie a knot. Gonna make another knot. And one more knot just for extra security. I'm sure it doesn't move. Okay, now we're going to release the pom-pom, taking these sides, opening that way, taking these sides, opening that way, and pulling them apart. Set that to the side, and there is our pom-pom. So cool, so pretty. Next step, we're just gonna clean up the pom-pom if there's any really long pieces that just are obvious sticking out and we're like no we need to trim those back go around to trim them down the pom-pom is not going to be perfect not every single string is going to be the exact same so just give it a little tossle see if it can if that strand can go invisible if you toss it a certain way because if you uh, try to go all perfectionist on this pom-pom you're gonna end up having a nub of a pom-pom. There's gonna be nothing left. So just understand that the pom-pom isn't going to be completely perfect. But if there's anything crazy long, just trim that down. Great, once we're all done with our trimming, we will take our pom-pom and these two long strings. We will take our beanie and we will look for the very center of the beanie right there. Take your crochet hook, enter from the inside of the beanie. Finding the hole there, we're going to come in the side of it. Grab one string, grab it with your crochet hook, and pull that string to the inside of the beanie. Great. Okay, so finding that hole again, inserting our crochet hook into the other side of that hole. 
preferably the opposite side of the hole. Grab the other string and pull that into the inside of the beanie. Remove the crochet hook. Okay, let's look at the inside of the beanie. Hold the pom-pom. Let's look at the inside of the beanie. We will see this string here. And we will see, where's the other one? Oh, there's the other string. We got our two strings. I'm going to take them, pull them tight, so we are really pulling that pom-pom against the top of the beanie, and we're going to tie a knot. And what this does is that large circular hole that was at the very tip of the beanie, it covers up that hole. So if you were concerned at all about that circle being maybe a little too large or the gap was a little too big and you're like, oh no, that's going to be way too big and it's going to just release too much heat or let too much cold into the inside of the beanie. We have completely covered up that hole now, so there is no large gap. Okay. And then I will cut some strings, leaving them long enough so I can weave in ends if I want to, but the top of your beanie is usually not really <laughs> observed a whole lot. so. Actually, if you really want to, you could cut these strings a lot shorter and just leave them alone. No one really notices the inside of the beanie. And now, here is what your beanie looks like. Isn't that great? I love the two, t the two colors. I love the two textures. I love how this all works together. So pretty, easy, quick. I hope you love it. All right, that's it. That's how you make this two textured slouchy beanie. I really hope you had fun. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>